Soft tissue sarcoma, a diagnostic and treatment overview. Approximately 90% of all cancers are carcinomas. These are cancers that develop in epithelial tissues, which are derived from the embryonic endoderm or ectoderm. Some of the most common carcinomas are those of the breast, prostate, lung, colon, skin, and bladder. Roughly 9% of all cancers are either myeloma, leukemia, lymphoma, or mixed types. And approximately 1% of all cancers in adults are sarcomas. Sarcomas are cancers that develop from tissues derived from the embryonic mesoderm, or mesenchyme. Some sarcomas occur in bone, such as osteosarcoma and Ewing sarcoma, or cartilage, called chondrosarcoma. The majority of sarcomas, however, arise from soft tissues, including muscle, fat, nerves, blood vessels, and other connective tissues. Soft tissue sarcomas can occur anywhere in the body, but the majority occur in the extremities. Soft tissue sarcomas are a heterogeneous group of cancers with approximately 50 different histological subtypes. Some of the more common subtypes include gastrointestinal stromal tumors, or GIST, leiomyosarcoma, liposarcoma, synovial sarcoma, and rhabdomyosarcoma, predominantly in children. Within these subtypes, there can be different molecular variations with unique clinical and prognostic characteristics. Soft tissue sarcomas can occur at any age, but there is a marked difference in distribution of histological subtypes between adult and pediatric soft tissue sarcomas. Because of the rarity and variability of sarcomas, seeking expert pathology review is critical for accurate diagnosis and to determine appropriate treatments, which often includes a multidisciplinary approach. The heterogeneity of soft tissue sarcomas presents significant treatment challenges as different subtypes and histological grades have different responses. Over the past few decades, with the exception of GIST, there has been minimal development of new approved systemic treatment options for soft tissue sarcoma. The current treatment approach for primary localized soft tissue sarcomas often begins with surgical resection and may include radiation which may help with local control. Preoperative radiation or neoadjuvant systemic therapy may be considered to help to reduce tumor size and facilitate surgical resection. Postoperative adjuvant systemic therapy may delay disease recurrence, but benefit to overall survival has not been demonstrated. Treatment options for advanced soft tissue sarcoma are limited. The prognosis for metastatic or unresectable soft tissue sarcoma is historically poor with a median survival of approximately 12 months. Trying to stabilize disease to delay onset of symptoms is an acceptable outcome of treatment for advanced disease. Standard first-line treatment for advanced soft tissue sarcoma includes the use of anthracyclines with or without additional agents. Several agents have been shown to have some activity in advanced soft tissue sarcoma, but even as new treatments are emerging, there is still no recognized standard therapy following failure of initial treatment. There is a need for second-line treatments that can help achieve not only longer overall survival, but also prolong disease stabilization and progression-free survival. Individualized treatment based on histological subtype may be able to provide prolonged disease stabilization 